Well, since arriving here to Wisconsin, and isn't this beautiful? Um, I have had some really exciting things happen within like the last week. Uh, God is just really moving mightily. And I've got a lot of testimony to share. I've got a, a, a lot of, just a lot of stuff to share. But the first thing I want to do is really get your friends uh, updated on what's been happening with uh, my, my health and the treatment. I'm going to try exciting, the exciting things that are going on uh, since I've arrived. And you know, I've said this before, when I was driving out here, the Holy Spirit was just convicting me. There, there's just... I just felt like there was a purpose and there was a reason for me to come out here. And it wasn't just for like repairing my relationship with my brother or seeing my mom. There's so much more there. It's like a, a new season, a new page that the Lord is uh, revealing and working in my life. And ever since I, I planted myself here in Wisconsin, it's been spiritually very awakening, very humbling. And, um, and also, uh, God's timing, God's timing with so much and his timing has to do also with my health. So now when I was back in uh, Georgia, uh, some of you d may not have known this, but you know, I, I'm doing the raw, I'm doing the juicing, doing extensive research. I'm on a lot of very specific supplements that are immune boosting. I, I did go see a functional medicine doctor. Uh, I really strongly believe in functional medicine. It treats the person as a whole. You're not just your liver disease. You're not just your heart disease. In modern medicine and mainstream conventional medicine, which I was born and raised into, the, 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 the weakness of what we do in medicine is that we don't treat the person wholly. And I've seen this time and time again as, as a nurse. We just treat the, the manifestation of their disease, be it their diabetes or whatever. And it's really sad because I've dealt with thousands of patients who would come in and they would have you know, their diabetes would be uncontrolled and then they'd have a really large wound, like an ulcer on their coccyx. And, and we would go in and we would do wound care. I would, as a wound care nurse also, I would do the wound care and then I'd work with the doctor very closely to get the blood sugars um, under control. You know, we had a whole, whole protocol with dealing with that. Uh, that was actually very progressive, but we missed the boat. When I would talk to my patients alone and I really, talk to them extensively. I'd find out what stressors were in their life. What's going on with their family? What do they eat at home? What's their daily routine? Uh, it was really looking at the patient in a whole, you know, in, 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 in a whole way. You know, and, and it's, I mean, there's just not like diabetes, wound care. And many, many doctors miss the boat with that. So therefore we have what's called functional medicine. And it, and you know, the Lord created us as whole beings. And it just doesn't make any sense to just, you know, <laughs> treat, treat one thing, the heart, without diving into everything else that's going on, our emotions, our stressors, how much we sleep, our hormones, what we eat, all of that. Because that's what makes up and affects our health. And you've seen the manifestation of that in me. You know, my divorce, and then I had near city, and all the things I've gone through with my health. Uh, it's a culmination of many, many things. You know, even though I was a super athlete, throughout my lifetime, I, I, I did not really eat healthy. Looking back, I didn't have a healthy uh, diet. And although what really kept me going was my athletics and my youth, after I went, started going through the divorce, and had all that emotional trauma, and then also from my breaking of my neck, uh, you know, I really didn't recover fully, even from the time I broke my neck. And when I say recover, I still had emotional stress. Uh, my, my, the, my diet was still very poor. You know, I may look healthy and fit and I was doing smoothies and, e and eating some, uh, you know, good foods. I was still eating a lot of processed foods, a lot of salt, a lot of sugar. See, a lot of people don't know that about my background. And sometimes I've been criticized and people come in and say, well, isn't that funny how you've, you've eaten so healthy all your life and now look at you, now look at you. No, the, the truth is I haven't eaten healthy. I came from a background with an eating disorder. 
Uh, I went from anorexia to bulimia when I was in college. And then even as an adult, that, that eating disorder followed me. What saved me from my eating disorder uh, before I knew the Lord was the the exercising. You know, I became an athlete, and sure, I I went from one addiction to the other. But at least I was eating. I was I was eating. I was taking in calories uh, when I was racing, and although they probably weren't good calories, I still was doing that. I had lots of muscle on my body, and my eating disorder was under control. But if you know anything about eating disorders, they just don't go away. And, and it was when the Lord really, I really submitted myself to the Lord and just laid it at his feet when that eating or disorder finally got addressed. And through the power of Christ, you know, I, I beat it. And I can actually say that a lot of people, when they have these uh, addictions that, you know, like once an alcoholic, you know, you're always going to be an alcoholic, once an eating disorder patient, you're always going to have an eating disorder. Well, I can attest to the fact that I do not have an eating disorder and I have, I haven't beaten it. The Lord has given me the ability and he's taught me that my body is a temple and I have normal appetite now, which I never had before. I don't have highs and lows and sugar rushes and I don't get tired or cranky or, and all that came from a bad, bad diet. So I know I'm kind of going off here, but I really want to explain, then coming back to the functional medicine doctor, the beauty of that functional medicine doctor is she would look at me and say, okay, this is what we've got here. You know, Stacy, you, your adrenals are shot. Your, um, you, you know, you have no estrogen in your body. Uh, you have an eating disorder. You've gone through trauma or, you know, you see what I'm saying? They look at everything. When we treat people, we have to treat everything. Otherwise, you know, that's why we don't really get, get a hundred percent better because there's, there's always health issues because we're not treating the whole. We're doing the bits and the pieces and the parts. So when I was in Georgia, we found a very good functional medicine doctor that my girlfriend um, recommended and she had an appointment and I had an appointment and I actually went in to see her. Now it was interesting because she started with me first and the reason why she started with me first was because of my, my little questionnaire. I, I, I don't, I'm not good with filling out questionnaires. I don't have time to fill out questionnaires. Now my girlfriend, she, she filled out every single item I'm very neat and organized. And so uh, the doctor uh, walked in and she smiled and she says, we're going to start with Stacy because of this. And I walked in uh, her office and she, the first thing she said was, how can you just fill out all the uh, questionnaire? And I said, well, there's things that just don't pertain. She says, yeah, well, I see that you didn't put anything about your, um, like your um, female stuff. Like uh, if I uh, was still menstruating or uh, you know, it, it, you know, any, any of this, if, if I was going through menopause and I said, well, I don't have any of this issue. So, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. You know, I, I don't have any female problems. And she's like, yeah, but it's part of you. <laughs> it's part of you as a whole. She said, uh, and I said, well, but and she says, it matters. So we started talking and then um, I remembered that I had uh, endometrial hyperplasia, which I was diagnosed with quite a while ago. And she said, right there, that's that, I need to know that because your hormones could be off. You may have too much progesterone, too much estrogen. She says, your, your, body, your body is a whole, it needs to be balanced. And if your hormones are off, it can, it can affect things. So she really started going through things and then she got to the point where she was talking about the GI and, and that's really the center of, of so much and we've, we don't realize that. I even miss that as a nurse. And there's a syndrome called leaky gut syndrome and it really comes from our diet and, and the stressors and our GI gets affected. And the bacteria, the good stuff, the good flora isn't there anymore. And it causes this leaky gut and leaky gut can cause cancer. It can cause many conditions. And in fact, it can even affect um, people uh, who have ADD, ADHD. It can cause anxiety from your gut, from your gut. And she started going through all of this. And I, even as a nurse, I was like, wow, they didn't teach us this in nursing school. This is really fascinating. I was really impressed and I listened intently and it wasn't quackery. It really made sense. 
I had just simply missed the boat. And I could see now why my girlfriend wanted me to go see a functional medicine doctor. And many of you had mentioned that too. After that appointment, um, I'll make a long story short, what ended up happening is, is she had some uh, suggestions about um, what supplements I should be taking, but she wanted me to do some further testing. And I've had this testing before and at a, at a regular nurse practitioner's office. And it's very particular testing. They do your, your skin, your hair, your nails. And what that does is it's a, it's, it's a electronic type of testing, like when you get an EKG. And all of everything that is in us gives off energy. So when you get an EKG, you see that, elect that the electrical part of our body. Well, it's the same thing when they scan your hair and everything. They can actually tell things like um, if you have toxicity in your body, metals in your body. Uh, they can also tell food allergies or what things you shouldn't be eating, um, hormone balances. It's, it takes the whole body. And I was like, I really need that because I need to see where I'm at. And then what it does is it, 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 it tells you the areas you should be targeting. So if you have heart disease, that's, yeah, that's great. You know, you can do all the heart stuff, but maybe there's something else going on. Maybe, maybe it's not just heart disease that you have that's continuing to make you sick. Maybe you have leaky gut. Maybe there's a hormone, adrenal glands, glands aren't working, or your pituitary glands aren't working, and maybe that's why you're not beating your cancer, or maybe that's why you have the skin condition, because they're looking at the wrong thing, right? And I, I know I'm talking really long, this is going to be a long video, but it, it's, really, it, it's really worth listening to, because what ended up happening is I couldn't afford the... I couldn't afford to see her again. Uh, she estimated that it was going to be $1,900 for me to get the supplements and the scan. And she's legitimate. I mean, she was actually, she's one of the cheaper functional medicine doctors around. Usually they're like $5,000. They get paid for what they do. Um, very good uh, supplements are, are, are they're, not, they're not cheap. You know, when we think about the medicine mainstream pharmaceuticals, those aren't cheap either. And, and what do some of these, these medicines do? Some of them just, they're really bad for us. And we pay for that. We pay for our insurance. So everybody gets paid. And even functional medicines uh, uh, doctors, yes, they charge for their services. So, because I know some people are going to say, oh, I wouldn't pay for that quackery. We don't, well, don't. But this is really for people who are, are so tired of just being treated in the conventional medicine world and they're not getting anywhere. They continue to be sick. They continue to fight with their fibromyalgia. They continue to fight with their skin issues. They continue to fight with their GI issues. They continue to fight with their pain, whatever it is, right? And, it, and the reason why you're not getting better is because we're missing the boat in modern medicine. We have to treat everything. Everything's connected. So I couldn't afford her and I, you know, I had prayed about it and prayed about it and I'm like, well, if the Lord really needs me, wants me to see a functional medicine doctor, he's going to make it happen. Somehow he'll make it happen. And that doesn't mean me just rolling over and not looking anymore. You know, I'm always proactive, but I always wait for the open door, the open door. When I came then now to Wisconsin, the open door happened this week. And it was when I least expected it. My brother had sent me a, te uh, a text and it was uh, a link to a uh, lady who had started her own company. She had Lyme's disease and she almost died basically from her Lyme's disease. She was bedridden for months. And what did conventional medicine tell her? After doing all this testing, testing after testing after testing, they said it was all in her head. They said she had severe depression. And this poor young woman suffered so much. And she knew there was something more going on than what they were telling her. And they tested her for limes. And they said they didn't, she, didn't, she didn't have it. So at the end of her rope, she decided to go to a functional medicine doctor. And she was like a lot of people. She's like, I, I really don't know about this, but I think somebody from, from either from her church or somebody had mentioned it to her. So again, she was just desperate and she went to a functional medicine doctor and he tested her with this scan, the, the hair and the nails and, the, and um, the hair, nails and skin, sent off her results and they came back that she had limes. And when she heard, when he said, you have limes, she said, no, I don't, I was tested. 
He's like, well, you either believe this testing or you don't. And I'm going to recommend what you need to treat the limes in order to bring your body back into its balance. And uh, she was like, well, what do you got to lose, right? And that's what exactly happened. She uh, went with the recommendations from this functional medicine doctor and she was cured. She's got a whole testimony that I'm going to play for you. I had a great conversation with her a couple days ago. Her name is Samantha Spooktek, I think. And very powerful testimony. And she started her own company. And the reason why she started her own company was because the cost. She said she spent thousands and thousands of dollars and didn't get anywhere. She didn't get cured. She didn't get healed. She remained sick. And then she was tapped out. And she wanted to provide people with this type of testing because she knew it could save them. She knew it could help them. She knew that so many people uh, don't have access to this type of testing and they need it. She believes in it so much. And so she started her own company. And my brother sent me her link because uh, there was a woman from his church that got healed from her limes from the, this testing and going with the recommendation from uh, the um, the from the from the results. The results tell you what you you should do. Um, it doesn't leave you blind. It says you know you you need to do this 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 and this, and you have a choice in in order to do it on your own or to uh, use their. Um, uh, supplements because they have a they don't have a line of supplements she also did a lot of um, vetting when it comes to finding uh, holistic supplements supplements that are organic supplements that are not synthetic she works with a doctor who really believes the same thing and the holistic approach and everything is pure and natural and 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 done with love so when I received that link and then I clicked on it uh, what I ended up doing was texting her and I told her you know who I am, uh, that I have a YouTube channel, what I'm going through, and that uh, I, I've been wanting to do this testing, but I can't afford it. Because back in Georgia, not only was it $1,900 just to do the whole program, which is probably, you know, very economical compared to the overall pay scale of, of what, what other functional medicine doctors charge, but I don't have $1,900. And I didn't even have the $500 for this type of testing, because that's what it was going to come to, $300 for one test, and I think $250 for the other test. When I talked to her, um, she went through all the testing, and I was so impressed um, with, with how she started the company, how she vetted the testing, um, the doctor that she uses, and, uh, and, her, and her wanting to help so bad. And she wanted to help financially. She wanted to provide this testing for pennies, and she, she, she's done it. I don't know how she does it. I don't, I, I don't think she's making any money. I don't know how she would make any money. But um, her, her scan started at $39.99. This is, this is a, a, a $200 to $300 scan. And then she's got like more elaborate scans for like $60 and, I, and maybe one for $100. I was like, Lord, thank you, God. You just opened this, this wonderful door for me. And look at this. I mean, not only pennies on the dollar, something that's affordable, but now, because I talked to her personally, I said, I want other people to know about this. There's so many people that contact me that are in the same boat as me. And they, they need this type of testing too. They need to see where they're at. They're tired too. They've been, they've been disappointed by the medical establishment. They've been in the carousel going round and round and round and round. So what she's offering to anybody who goes to her website, if they use the STARRY code, you just put in the word STARRY, and when you check out, you'll get $20 off the scan. The, the, the cheapest scan they've got is 39 bucks. That's half price. How can not somebody afford like $20? I thought, this is unreal. Thank you, Jesus. For, for not just me, but for, for the ability to be able to offer it to all of you now too. And I know a lot of you know about functional medicine doctors and you know how much they are and you know how much the testing is. And this is legitimate. And um, I'm going to do my scan first. So I will show you my results. I'm going to walk you guys through it so you understand the process. Results, I'm going to walk you guys through it so you understand the process and you can see the verification of, of the lab and what's going on. Okay, and then, and then the other good news, the other open door was,